Hey, hey! Here at the Motion Mill, I'm going to show you how to make a holographic, grid-like graphic using Cinema 4D and touch it up in After Effects. Create your model that you want to become a grid hologram. I'm just creating a simple donut here. Just a torus and half a torus with a subdivision surface. If you want to learn this, I suggest watching the YouTube link in the description. One thing you should keep in mind when making your objects is its segments. You could see them if you click Display, and then Gorin Shading Lines. These lines will be what your grid will look like. If you have multiple objects, their lines might overlap, so we need to combine the objects. To do this, click and hold this icon and then select Bool. Place the two objects under your bool to make it apparent. With the bool selected, change the boolean type to A Union B, and then check Create Single Object. This will get rid of some extraneous segments. If you have more than two objects, you may have to do this bool technique multiple times. When you're satisfied, click and hold this icon and then select Atom Array. Drag your bool under the Atom Array to make it a child to the array. Select the Atom Array and make sure the cylinder radius and sphere radius are the same size. It may not look great right now, but we'll fix it later in After Effects. I want the hologram display to spin. To do that, have the coordinates tab of your atom array selected and click on this circle on whatever rotation axis you desire to create a keyframe. Move this blue cursor further down your timeline. Next change the value inside the rotation to 360 and hit the circle again. If you want the rotation to have a constant pace, click on the window tab and select timeline f curve. Select both points on your keyframe curve and click this arc called linear. We're done in Cinema 4D. Save your project and swap out software. In After Effects, create a new composition with your desired dimensions. I suggest keeping them within a reasonable resolution in comparison to your Cinema 4D file. Drag your Cinema 4D file either into your bin or straight into your timeline. If you want a clearer preview of your object without the grid background, click on this tab next to Renderer and change it to Standard Final but just be ready for some preview slowdown. Go to your effects and presets bar and search for fill. Drag it to your Cinema 4D layer. This will make your grid object a solid color and get rid of the shading on the object, making it look more digital. You could change the color to whatever you like here. Head back to the effects bar and search for glow. Add that to the layer as well. Lower the glow threshold how you see fit, raise up the radius to around 30, and lower the intensity just a bit. Let's go to the effects bar one more time and search for Venetian blinds. Add it to your layer, set the transition completion to 35%, adjust its direction, and lower the width to around 6. This will give your object that subtle CRT look, although you may want to put your glow effect below the blinds to make it stand out more. Now you have your spinning holographic grid object. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know, and be on the lookout for more here in the Motion Mill.